ओके गाइज हियर वी गो लेट मी फर्स्ट एक वी आर लाइव और नॉट जस्ट फॉर टू थ्री मिनट्स देन वी गाना स्टार्ट विद दिस हियर वी गो सो प्ले लिस्ट येस फाइनली वी आर लाइव आई कैन से दैट या लेट मी स्टार्ट विद दिस नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस हियर इफ आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट ए एस टू हियर लेट मी जस्ट विच हियर ओके फेर इन नाउ Understand, guys. So this is accounting standard two, which is inventory. Ah, uh, AS two, we will say, which is inventories. Okay. Try to understand this. This standard can come in the exam. This is one page summary. Lecture will be in basic English language, which is understandable. I am going to cover each and every question of study material, which is there. Okay. You can see these are the beautiful notes which are made. Ah, uh, this is one page summary. Then there are summaries and questions also. Just refer this PDF, and you are done with this standard for sure. Okay. Let's start with this now. Okay, without wasting any time. Okay, first of all, sir, I always have this habit. Okay, to make a mind map. So, sir, if I talk about inventory, first you will understand whatever stock I have in my go down out of all the stock which is there. What is the meaning? That is, these parts are inventories. Then valuation. So there are six parts. I can say. Chalo. Let us start with the meaning, guys. Let us start with the meaning of inventory. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. Let us start with the meaning of inventory. So here I come. When I say inventory, it means let us say I manufacture a chair, I deal in chair, I manufacture a chair, and then I sell it. So can I say that at the end of the year, in my go down, if you visit, there are chairs which are unsold. That is on inventory finished goods, which is held for sale, not sold yet. Okay, which is held for sale. Then there are some chairs. on which we started working but uh, we can say that we have not completed those chairs which are unfinished chairs in process which is wip and there is a wood which we bought but we haven't started working on that which is raw material so there are three inventories raw material wip finished goods there are stores and spares also but that is not something which is relevant for your exam just remember three parts sir raw material wip finished goods sir we have understood the meaning that it there are three parts in this you just listen to me that that is raw material wip in finished goods understood first part is done next part is what sir next part is valuation next part is valuation of inventory now chalo let us do the valuation of inventory if i talk about how will you value that chair which is lying in your go down because it will be shown in the pnl and balance sheet so how will you value this chair wip and raw material how will you value that so valuation principle acha here we use conservatism yeah everybody good morning here we use conservatism principle sir what does it mean conservatism let us understand if i talk about wip and finished goods there are two questions on that and for raw material valuation there is question number 3 let us understand one thing sir if i tell you to manufacture one finished goods my cost is 100 accepted when you sell it in the market net realizable value after paying salesman commission distribution cost what will you realize if you sell this chair what will you realize maybe the selling price we will sell the chair for let us say 120 but to sell the chair you have to distribute uh, transportation expenses and agents commission salesman ka commission you will get 110 so i can say what you realize from this chair is 110 Can I say that there is a gain in future? Obviously, sir. When I sell the chair, can you book that gain now? No, you cannot record your inventory on the credit side at one one zero, sir. Closing stock. Otherwise, it is without selling. You have recorded at a sales price, which cannot be done. You cannot book this profit now. When you sell, you can book. You can record at selling price. You have to record this inventory at cost price. Okay, which is hundred. But sir, cost is hundred. and because maybe some conditions the market demand has fallen and if you sell this chair today it can be sold only for 95 rupees net realize that much you can realize so there is a future loss and conservatism says future loss should be recorded now only okay gitanjali yeah i will try to do that okay so future loss should be recorded now only so i can say that your inventory should be recorded at 95 195 whichever is lower okay so one principle we all know your inventory should be recorded at cost or nrv whichever is lower done sir understandable now listen to me very carefully very carefully let us say that finished goods was this was 100 And this was a one one zero. So you recorded inventory at NRV. Let us say this is hundred, and this is ninety five. Sorry, whichever is lower, na. So you recorded your inventory at this price, cost price. And case number two me, you have recorded your inventory at what ninety five. Okay, we will say that whichever is lower. Acha. 
there are two questions on this let us do, do those two questions there are these are again from the study metal this question then i will come to raw metal wala part okay yeah i will try to upload that those who are like they can always like the video and if it is helpful you can always comment below the video at least as a thank you note karke or hashtag carmar now understand guys first let us solve two questions which are from the study material in this this pdf itself so you don't have to just again open that book and all understand question number 1 acha sir there is one note also sir what is that note understand when you value inventory it should be item by item basis inventory should be written down on item by item basis acha sir what is this item by item basis let us understand chalo let me just solve one question you will understand question number 1 which is uh, again illustration number 1 in your study material if you check okay sir company has three stocks a b and c okay these are there in the closing inventory three raw metals are there a b c uh, the historical cost the cost is given in the question and nrv is given in the question what we have understood inventory should be valued at cost or nrv whichever is lower i highly recommend when you solve the question you should write this always because the institute always writes this as per as2 so that you can get full marks valuation on inventory of inventory inventory should be valued at lower of at the lower of cost or nrv lower of these two okay done now let us value item by item basis and not in totality if i talk about a it is 40 it is 28 sir what is lower sir lower is 28 it should be valued at 28 b 32 32 anything you can take let us say this 32 whatever you can take 32 For C, you will say sixteen and twenty-four. Lower is sixteen, so it should be valued at that. Okay. Now I can say that. Look, forty. So this is twenty-eight. You have valued B. Co. You have valued at thirty-two, and C. Co. Lower of this sixteen is lower. You have valued at this, and just take this total twenty-eight plus thirty-two plus sixteen, and you're gonna get seventy-six. Okay. Now one thing, just one thing that you should note, sir. What we should note, sir, you should not do like this. Total is eighty eight. Total NRV is eighty four. So it should be valued at eighty four. No, inventory should be valued at item by item basis. I hope now this is understandable. What is understandable? This cost or NRV whichever is lower, and then inventory should be valued at item by individual basis and not global basis. Yes, sir. Very much understandable. Okay, chalo. Now let us understand second question again from the module. I am done with the first question. Okay, sir. Next question, sir. Question number two. Let us understand this again. It is given in the question. Calculate the closing stock and closing stock. That is inventory is valued at cost or NRV whichever is lower. Yes, sir. It is valued at cost or NRV whichever is lower. So write that sentence again. Copy paste just by heart this sentence. If question comes, you need to write these two lines. One point five lines. Okay. Now let me just read this question. What is there? First, you will have to calculate cost. You have to calculate NRV and take lower of the above. Okay, done, sir. Sir, there is one company X Limited. Okay, sir, X Limited has purchased goods of rupees forty lakh. That is something which I have purchased. But out of forty lakh, seventy five percent are sold. So I must be having only twenty five percent stock. Out of forty lakh, seventy five percent is sold. So I can say forty lakh minus seventy five percent. So forty lakh. Minus seventy five percent, I will be having stock of ten lakh. I hope you understand. I will be having stock of ten lakh because seventy five percent is sold. Just subtract that. I will be having only twenty five percent portion. So multiply by twenty five percent or minus seventy five percent. You can do. Okay. I am having ten lakh worth stock. The cost is ten lakh. Let us get the NRV. Now, if I get the NRV, it is given in the question. Yeah. So the value of the clothing stock is ten lakhs. So should it be shown at ten lakhs? No. You should get the NRV. If you sell it in the market, you will get eleven lakh. But sir, in order to sell, we'll have to pay commission also ten percent on the sales value. It means I can just say that if I sell it for eleven lakhs, which is my selling price, on that I will have to give commission of ten percent. So eleven lakh minus ten percent, what I will realize is only nine lakh ninety thousand. Sir, what is lower of this? Now even the cost is ten lakh. If I sell it today itself in the market, I will get eleven lakh. I understand. But commission also will be paid. So I will realize only. Nine lakh ninety. So lower of above is nine lakh ninety. So inventory should be valued at nine lakh ninety thousand. Okay, understandable. And always write this line that inventory should be valued at cost or NRV whichever is lower. I hope that is understandable. I'm not. I'm just looking at the chat box. I'm not reading like uh, one by one names so that I can complete this. As early as possible, okay, guys. But you can be there, okay. And you can always like the video. Yeah, uh, uh, 
just a reminder from my side okay sir 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 i hope the speed is proper for that matter now understand sir this much i have done sir raw metal ka part i have done question 1 is done question 2 is done now sir there is some sorry wip and finished goods wala part is done now something special about raw material and even wip yeah so now sir what is special about this raw material try to understand okay try to understand this do you sell raw material in the market no sir i never sell raw material in the market understandable you always purchase raw material that is you always purchase wood and what you sell is chair in the market okay now understand chair if i talk about chair which is your finished goods okay now let's talk about the raw material okay understand this understand this let us say that now valuation of raw material depends upon the valuation of finished goods if finished goods is valued at cost it means there is no future loss sir how can you say this understand sir the cost of finished goods is 100 nrv of finished goods is 110 so finished goods is valued at lower of this which is 100 so if finished goods is valued at cost it means nrv must be higher so selling price will be higher but if i say finished goods is valued at nrv that is 195 to 95 is lower it means there is a future loss Achha, now understand this sir can we sell WIP? Nay, uh, Vidhanjan, we will come to WIP also. We will come to that. Now, question is there. Okay. Now, understand why commission is subtracted to get NRV. Meaning of NRV is net realizable value. So, to get net value, you have to subtract the commission that will be paid. Okay. So, now WIP, I will come to this. There is a question number three. We, will, we cannot sell WIP. We have to further process that. Okay. So, I will come to this part also. Now, understand raw material if i talk about raw material sir if you manage now see maybe raw material ka what i will say let us say that raw material ka cost wood you have purchased for 50 rupees wood wood that is your raw material sir you cannot sell it in the market so now how can you get the selling price uh, sir i don't sell so i cannot get the selling price so the best way to get the selling price is if i go to the market today maybe this raw material is purchased way back two three months back on balance sheet date, if I go to the market and if I purchase the same wood, it will cost me kitna, which is known as replacement cost. It will cost me how much, which is known as replacement cost. So my replacement cost is let us say 40. I hope you understand there is a loss of 10. I have purchased raw metal for 50, maybe three months back. Today on balance sheet date, its value is only 40 rupees. If I go to the market, if I replace it, it will I, it will cost me only 40. So that is a market value today, I can say. So now, should I book the 10 rupees call loss? No, because you are not going to sell the raw, raw material. You are not going to sell the raw material. You will convert this raw material into finished goods and then you will sell the finished goods. So when you sell the finished goods, let us say finished goods is valued at cost. It means there is no loss in future because finished goods will be sold at a higher than 100. That's why it is valued at cost. When finished goods is valued at cost, there is no loss in future. So, if there is no loss in future because, so you should not book loss on raw material also. So, raw material should be valued at cost only. You, you can just remember for your examination, finished goods is valued at cost, raw material should be valued at cost. If there is no loss booked for finished goods, so no loss should be raw on should be booked on raw material because it will be converted into finished goods and then it will be sold and there is no loss in future. Do not book that. But if I say finished goods is valued at NRV, okay. So sir, if finished goods is valued at NRV, this indicates there is a loss because cost is hundred of finished goods and NRV is ninety five. So NRV is lower, so it is valued at lower of that. So NRV is lower. It means there is a future loss. You will book the loss on raw metal also. If there is loss on finished goods, you will book loss on raw metal also. The raw metal will be valued at cost or NRV, but you do not have NRV. So you will get replacement cost as your answer, which is replacement cost. So raw metal is valued at cost or replacement cost, whichever is lower. Okay. Now, now let me understand one thing. Thank you. Now let me understand one thing. Now let me give you that idea again, valuation, two things. WIP is yet to be explained, then still raw metal, uh, then here it is raw material. It is cost or NRV whichever is lower. For raw material it depends. If your finished goods is valued at cost, so raw metal should be valued at cost. If your finished goods is valued at NRV, it means NRV must be lower, lower of the cost and NRV. So it means there is a future loss, so even raw material should be valued at cost or NRV, but we don't have NRV. The so cost or replacement cost, whichever is lower. Okay. Now, let us do questions. Let me just first do the things, then I will take your doubts and all. So now, let, still you can always give the answers and all. Okay. Uh, or you can just listen to me very carefully. Now, 
लेट एस डू वन थिंग लेट एस सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस अच्छा वन मोर थिंग या चलो लेट एस डू द क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच इज फॉर रॉ मेटेरियल डब्ल्यू एपी फिनिश रूट ऑल थ्री आर कवर्ड इन दिस वैल्यूएशन जनरली दिस क्वेश्चन इज टेकन एट दी एंड बट सो बी वेरी केयरफुल बी विथ मी यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस ओके नाउ नाउ अंडरस्टैंड there is one person mehul not rahul i will say so mehul uh, there is one person mehul 31st march balance sheet date is there and you need to value each item of inventory on this balance sheet date okay and calculate the total value of inventory there are three items 1 2 and 3 there are three items value them one by one okay sir so the first item you can see is raw material second partly finished it means wip and third one is finished goods okay let us go one by one and let us try to understand this when i write the solution uh listen to this carefully okay there is a possibility that you will get doubt so i want that you should be very careful with this very careful the way i am saying just listen to me carefully and you will get the answers so try to understand sir first let us talk about finished goods because it is easy let us talk about finished goods sir there are 1500 units of finished goods understandable the cost incurred per unit is 320 this is one unit ka cost this is cost and expected selling price of finished goods is 300 is there any sales commission they have mentioned no so i can say that finished goods is valued at cost or nrv so cost is 320 i will write down this cost is 320 you can see and the nrv is that is if i sell it in the market i will get 300 so sir 320 and 300 whichever is lower if i say so whichever is lower that will come to nrv that is it will be valued at 300 because cost or nrv whichever is lower it will be valued at this yeah good morning everybody now sir this is value of one unit i have how many units i have 1500 units so if i multiply with the 1500 units i will get this total value 45 lakh please understand what i did i did cost or nrv whichever is lower so it is valued at nrv which is 300 and then it is multiplied by 1500 so 300 into 1500 please do it on the calculator you will get 4 lakh 50000 understandable now there is a twist you have to check while valuing the raw material i have explained this now let us value the raw material sir raw material valuation depends upon finished goods finished goods is valued at cost to so raw material is also valued at cost so but sir in this case finished goods is valued at nrv it means there is a loss in finished goods Because 320 ka cost we have, and it can be sold only for 300. So there is a loss in finished goods. Finished goods is valued at NRV. So raw material will be valued at. See, it is written. Finished goods is valued at NRV. So raw material is valued at lower of cost or replacement cost. Lower of these two. So now let me read the question. I hope that was understandable. Now, if I talk about this raw material, there are 600 600 units. Okay, sir. Sir, this 600 units ka. Cost is one twenty. Let me write this cost one twenty, one twenty, and then replacement cost of new raw material. Replacement cost if I read. So the, my cost is one twenty, and replacement cost if I replace it today, my cost will be ninety. So let me write ninety. Sir, what will you do? You will check the finished goods first. Valuation principle. You will check the finished goods. If finished goods is valued at cost, even this is valued at cost only. Simple. That is one twenty directly. But if because it is valued at NRV, so even raw material should be valued at lower of cost or NRV. So sorry, cost or ye yeah, replacement cost, which one is lower? That is, it will be valued at lower of this. So lower of this, bolo. So what will come is ninety. Yeah. So it will be valued at ninety. And how many units are there? Which is six hundred units are there? I hope that was clear. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, just let me know in the chat box. Is it clear or not? Now let us talk about WIP then. Let us talk about WIP in that case. Raw material is done. You have to first check this finished goods ka, and then only you can get the answer. Now let us talk about the WIP. We have five hundred units. That is okay. First of all, I will check what is the cost incurred till now because it is partly finished. So till now I have incurred two sixty rupees. Okay. Now what I will do? Understand this. These units can be sold next year, ah, uh, finished next year by incurring additional cost of two sixty. Sir, what is WIP? WIP is very simple. Not hundred percent work is done. It is somewhere in the midway. That is WIP. Raw material, nothing, no work is done. And finished goods is entire work is done. It means, yeah, that is very much clear. Everybody, yeah, thank you so much. So now. WIP pay till now I have incurred WIP on WIP till now I have incurred two sixty that is my cost okay two sixty that is my cost I will say sir I will sell it in the future I will convert that in the future and I will sell it as a finished goods okay sir finished goods will be sold at what price sir finished goods will be sold at three hundred rupees 
फिनिश गुड्स विल बी सोल्ड एट थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज विच इज सेलिंग प्राइस आई वुड लाइक टू गेट एन आर वी ऑफ डब्ल्यू आई पी आई वुड लाइक टू गेट एन आर वी इट मीन इफ आई सेल दिस डब्ल्यू आई पी टू डे आई विल गेट हाउ मच रुपीज तो सर फर्स्ट आई विल हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस डब्ल्यू आई पी इन टू फिनिश गुड सो आई विल हैव टू स्पेंड समथिंग एंड देन आई कैन सेल इट फॉर थ्री हंड्रेड बट सर टू कन्वर्ट दैट एडिशनल खर्चा एडिशनल कॉस्ट विल बी रिक्वायर्ड सो दीज यूनिट्स कैन बी फिनिश नेक्स्ट ईयर बाई इनकरिंग एडिशनल कॉस्ट ऑफ सिक्सटी इट मीन If you understand this WIP will fetch me 300 in future by converting it into finished goods, but to generate that 300, I have to spend 60 rupees to further process. So what I net realize is 300 minus 60, that is 240 rupees, and 240 rupees I will realize as a net value, and the cost is 260. तो आई विल से दैट टू फोर्टी आई विल से लाइक दिस की थ्री हंड्रेड अच्छा इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट दैट एनआरवी वाला कैलकुलेशन प्लीज या चेक दिस इयर या यहां पर For NRV, in order to calculate NRV, what you will have to do for finished goods, it is selling price minus selling expenses, sales commission or whatever at the time of sales. But if it is WIP, so selling price minus sales commission will come. But because it was WIP, you will have to further process also to complete that. Okay, so to complete that, you will have to incur that extra cost also, and then you will get that NRV. That is what we have done here. Uh, 300 rupees minus for the processing cost has been subtracted, but for raw material in RV won't be calculated. You will directly take the replacement cost. Okay, understandable, sir. Now, here I come. So here, if I come, you understand. You can always like the video. I can say 36 people are live as of now, but likes are only 22. So it would be a recommendation. Okay. Now, if I say this, it should be valued at cost or NRV, whichever is lower. How will you get this NRV? Selling price minus selling expenses minus further processing cost, if there is any. So I will get this much value as a realizable. Okay. Now NRV, if you value that, so lower of this, two sixty and two forty, lower of this, and you're gonna get there are how many units? There are how many units in the WIP? Five hundred. So if you multiply with this, you're gonna get this answer. Take the total, and you have your value. so that is how it will be done yeah perfect i hope that was very much understandable so we are done with three questions these are from the module this is from the test your knowledge that is if you check the module ka end mein there are certain questions but these are from the modules okay three questions we are done with guys okay so here i come so this is the summary again here i come uh, first what i did is first sir i did meaning Sir, so there are three things: raw material, WIP, finished goods. I did valuation also. Raw material ka, WIP ka, finished goods ka. So WIP and uh, finished goods ka, and then here it is raw material ka. Now, sir, sir, how to get this cost? How to get this NRV? NRV I am done with. NRV I am done with. For finished goods, selling price minus selling expenses. But for WIP, it is selling price minus selling expenses first. And there is one more thing: further processing. You will have to convert that into finished goods. That cost. And for raw material, you will take raw, ah, uh, yeah, replacement cost. And are we? We are done with this. Now let us talk about the cost. Sir, when you talk about cost, that is cost or N R V, whichever is lower. How to get N R V? I came to know. But sir, how to get this cost? What all things should be added in the cost? Let us understand. Now let us understand that is third part. Meaning is done. Valuation is done. Cost. Cost has three parts. First, if you check this, see. Cost has three parts. First of all. Items to be included, items to be excluded, and joint product and by product. Okay, let us do one thing. That is, items to be included while calculating the cost. So now, items to be included. What all items you will include? So sir, first you will purchase that wood. Wood is raw material for you. You will purchase the so purchase price. If any trade discount is given, it should be subtracted. Sir, if any cash discount is given, ignore. Cash discount will be recorded as an income on the credit side. It will not be subtracted from the cost. Your cost will be hundred, and if a discount is given, you won't record this at eighty. Instead, twenty rupees ka cash discount will be appearing on the credit side of the P and L. We will say that. Okay, ignore that. So everything is written if and buts. Then, if you purchase, ah, uh, so you have to pay some taxes and duties also. Now understand, you have done that in GST. I hope that should be done. If GST is a, a ref, non-refundable. It means I have paid it, and I uh, there is no refund that will be available to me. So non-refundable. It means it is my cost. So it is my cost. You learn that in GST input tax credit. I can just say that. Ah, uh, import. Ah, uh, so that is something which is in GST. You should understand. Import duty and taxes. If 
refundable it means i have paid the taxes and i will get the refund so if i will get the refund it is not my cost you should ignore it means you should always take non refundable taxes non refundable taxes so if question is silent nothing is mentioned if nothing is mentioned your uh, we can say that taxes are non refundable it means it will come you will assume it is non refundable and you will write in the cost understand then sir first you went to the supplier premises you paid him purchase price he gave you trade discount then plus import and taxes vagra you have added now you will have to bring those units to those wood whatever from the truck to your location where you are doing that work you are carpenter so you have to incur transportation cost handling with this loading unloading that will be added supplier to factory only this will be added once you make a chair and that chair is then distributed that chair is being sold to the customer so when you sell it to the customer that cost will not be added you will add only which cost in the purchase cost from suppliers premises to your own factory that only will be added when you sell it to the customer it is selling and distribution that will not be added okay just a clarification handling cost insurance at the time of purchase brokerage paid like uh, if you buy sometimes raw metal etc you need some uh, expert advice like you buy a mobile so that should be added yeah uh, i will try to do that kailas uh, now understand this so now these are the things which will be added and then once that would reaches your factory raw metal came sir raw metal to aa gaya sir once the raw metal came then worker will work on that then sir direct cost then many overheads only which overheads will be added production overhead or factory overhead production overhead factory overhead manufacturing overhead will be added okay you will not add administration and selling and distribution please understand you will not add admin and selling and distribution because these are not for the production activity these are like that comes in pnl we will say admin and selling we will say it will not be added okay now understand one more thing so sir three cost are there first a purchase cost which is done then there is a conversion cost in which direct material will come direct labor will come and production overhead will come in this there are two parts variable and fix you need to understand variable will be added and fix will be added only note number 1 is important for your exam note number 3 uh, and 2 uh, and 3 should be ignored this is just higher level version you just need to remember that absorption costing that is what we do in costing you must have learned from me there are chances if not to theek hai sir your cost is 1 lakh which is your rent sir so how will you recover so now here you need to understand i don't have that much time where i can explain the logic behind this it will take again the next 10 minutes so i just to save you remember for your exam perspective if question comes and if you want overhead per unit what you will do total overheads divided by higher of this divided by higher of normal production or actual production if you divide you will get this whatever quantity like normal production is 50000 Actual production is forty thousand, so higher is fifty thousand. Divide by that, and you will get one unit ka cost. From exam perspective, just remember this: whichever is higher, done, sir. Okay, sir. What all expenses are added? You told us. Okay. So if I again come to the diagram, I just told you there are three parts. Uh, like uh, uh, there is a purchase cost, then there is a conversion cost, and other any other cost which is directly attributable. Purchase cost we did everything that is up. We can say that purchase price minus trade discount added taxes if non refundable transportation and all that we did. And then here here there is direct metal, direct labor, direct expenses and production overhead. You only you will take. Acha one thing that you should remember is you will do this overheads. If these are fixed overheads, it should be divided which units that is actual production or normal production whichever is higher. Understand this. And this if there is any other cost. Acha sir, what should be included? Sorry, what should be excluded while calculating the cost? So sir, these are excluded. There is one code word which is made. Tosa is like a kind of a food that we eat. We will say that a sweet that is tosa. Ah, uh, uh, is. So tosa is that is tosa is ignored. We will say tosa is. ignored so tosa mitti if there is a tax and if credit is available so that is not my cost i will get the refund that is refund is available that is not not my cost t tosa mitti is tax if it is refundable should be ignored oh office and admin if it, if it is again general it should be ignored then selling and distribution again it will be ignored t o to so, uh, taxes or office then as selling a that is uh, then abnormal losses should be ignored material waste abnormal loss you cannot recover from the customer so that should not be added is me interest cost will be ignored storage cost will be ignored but again uh, sorry this is of uh, ca final ka it is written uh, in des 23 we have a borrowing cost ke liye as 16 that is in ca final in des 23 now understand so now 
इफ अलाउड एज पर एज सिक्सटीन विच इज बोरोइंग कॉस्ट क्वालिफाइंग सेट वगैरह तो यू विल एड इफ दे स्पेसिफिकली टेल यू टू एड अरे देर आर थ्री ओवर हेड्स ना कुमारी प्रोडक्शन ओवर हेड देर आर थ्री ओवर हेड्स वन इज इन कट इन द फैक्ट्री विच इज नॉन एज प्रोडक्शन ओवर हेड देन विच इज इन कट इन द ऑफिस नॉन एज एडमिन ओवर हेड एंड वन विच इज फॉर सेल इट इज सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यू शुड इग्नोर दिस फॉर प्रोडक्शन ओनली दिस आर रिक्वायर्ड लाइक रेंट वगैरह फैक्ट्री का ऑफिस का रेंट वगैरह यू विल नॉट टेक नाउ स्टोरेज ऑल्सो विल इग्नोर Uh, if necessary for production, they say then only it is added like wines and everything which are there. Okay, so this is not something not important. These are something that you have to ignore. If they say that storage is for production, you will add. Otherwise, it's okay. Okay, so something which should be added, something which should be subtracted has been done. Now, sir, joint cost I will do later on. Let us do few questions first. Meaning is done, valuation is done, items included, excluded is done. Joint product I will do at the end. NRV is also done. Now let us do the questions. Remaining questions I will say, and then our job is done. Let's say question number four is there. So let us do question number four for the cost wala purpose. Okay. And let's just finish this part now. Question number four, if I come to, it is very easy, very easy. Illustration number four in the module. Let's read this, sir. As to what is there? Acha, if I see this. just a second uh yeah so if i see this here i go so sir if i see this here so you are required to value the inventory per kg it is specifically written so the value should be calculated per kg only for one unit it should be calculated i said okay i will calculate and it is given per kg okay so material cost is directly given per kg labor cost is directly given variable overhead is directly given okay very easy just add this dekho na you just write 240 and 20 okay but now if i talk about fixed overheads these are given for the year okay on a normal working of 2 lakh kgs you are expecting you will produce 2 lakh kgs and to produce 2 lakh kgs you will spend 20 lakh rupees are but i need cost per kg sir there must be one they can complicate the things this is normal capacity they will give you actual capacity you have to take whichever is higher okay logic i am not explaining as of now in the fast track but you can just by heart as of now for exam perspective now understand now in there is only one capacity there no tension sir 220 lakh divided by 2 lakh 20 lakh i will incur 20 divided by 2 sir 10 rupees perfect so that's it just add this sir 200 plus 40 plus 20 plus 10 So that becomes two seventy is the cost for one kg, sir. If one kg is lying in my godown, the value is two seventy, sir. How many kgs are lying in godown, sir? Four thousand kgs are there in stock. So just multiply this two seventy into four thousand, and you will get this value. That's it. Perfect, sir. Understandable. Okay. Let us do question number five now. Let us do question number five now. Ah, uh, question number five and question number six is on the similar lines. Let's try to understand this question number five and question number six. Understand this. Acha, uh, it is like uh, uh, some costing knowledge also is there. I hope everything is clear. Just you can say yes, sir. I will come to know that. Yeah, you guys are there. Let's drink some water. Okay, guys. Let's have a look. Now let us go to the question number five. I hope yeah that is clear. Now um, maybe speed is fast obviously because we need to complete this. Okay, or uh, you can watch it later on at point seven five if you want. Otherwise, I feel it is actually perfect speed. Okay. So there is one company, a uh, capital cables, etc. Okay, okay. Normal wastage is four percent. So whatever I produce normally four percent is the wastage. It's not bad. Okay. This is this loss which is expected. Okay. During the year. During the year, ah, uh, during the year, sir, the company should ah, uh, the company used twelve hundred metric tons. I'm empty. You just ignore that metric tons. That is a weight measurement. Okay, twelve hundred kgs or empty we can say of raw material costing one fifty m ah uh, empty has been purchased. So I will write, sir, input. I have purchased twelve thousand k ah uh, empty we can say I will or say kgs for the sake of simplicity. Twelve thousand kgs have been purchased. Now sir, these many kgs are purchased at one fifty rupees. So just multiply with this twelve thousand into one fifty. Sir, you have to do it on the calculator. You will get eighteen lakh rupees. Are you there? Gaya pundro ka. You will get eighteen lakh rupees. Perfect sir. Now sir. Out of twelve thousand, I am expecting that four percent is a normal loss, expected loss. So I can say that twelve thousand into four percent, which is four eighty. If I subtract, so I will get one one five two zero, which is my normal quantity. 
तो आई हैव स्पेंट 18 लाख रुपीस एंड आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग आउटपुट ऑफ 11520 दैट इज नॉर्मल एक्सपेक्टेड क्वांटिटी वी विल से दिस हैज एक्सपेक्टेड क्वांटिटी तो सर व्हाट इज माय कॉस्ट पर यूनिट सिंपल सर आई विल से 18 लाख रुपीस डिवाइडेड बाय 18 लाख डिवाइडेड बाय 11520 सो माय सीपीयू शुड बी दिस 156.25 that is my cpu one unit values this much so if there is any extra loss this is one unit car loss let, let us just read i was expecting loss of 480 sir at the year end i came to know actual loss is 630 kgs or 630 mt i will say this is your actual that was the wastage at the year end this was the wastage so sir i was expecting only 480 car loss so out of 630 480 was expected something that was not expected is abnormal loss so I will say 630 minus 480, there is 150 ka abnormal loss. Yeah, and I do, that is perfect. So there is 150 ka abnormal loss. Achha, sir, can you recover this from the customer? No, abnormal loss should be transferred to profit and loss account. So it will be transferred to profit and loss account. But sir, what is the value? Sir, each unit ka value is 156.25. So 150, first you got this 150 how 630 minus 480 and amount is like 150 into this is cpu just multiply this you will get abnormal wala value Achha, sir remaining units ka value will be what then simple sir out of this this was abnormal loss so what you actually got is this you were expecting this much 11520 but sir this came to be abnormal loss so minus 150 so you got this much as your answer and 18 lakh is something that is your cost. This is abnormal loss. Well, you will subtract and this much you can recover from the customer. So this is your value. Guys, this is your value. That's it. This is your answer. But sir, there is one important thing. Sir, what is important thing? If they tell you, if they tell you, explain the context of after doing this key treatment, they are asking us, sir, what, how it should be treated, wastage, and they are explaining normal loss and abnormal loss. Ka. So you have to need one paragraph. If they always ask you like this, if question comes for normal and abnormal wala part, if in the question there is normal loss and abnormal loss, always write this one paragraph, which is written in question number six. Always. That is these paragraphs. Dekho. That you will say that as per AS2, you will say as per AS2, valuation of inventory, Abnormal loss that is wo, waste of material, labor, other production are excluded from cost of inventory. So you should exclude. If it is abnormal loss, it will be excluded. Okay. And it will be recognized as an expense. It will be transferred to PL account. Normal loss is recovered from the customer. So it is added. Correct. So this paragraph you should be written. That is it is added. Now, let in minimum time, I am trying my best so that you can get the answers. Now this question we can easily do. Question number six. There is one more question in the module which is on the similar lines. Let us try to do that. Okay. Sir, here if I see in the production process, normal wastage is 5%. Chalo, let me calculate only in the rough. You also do that. Sir, 5000 tons I have purchased, which is quantity. This is input. Chalo. Then uh, input is there and 5% is normal loss. So my normal loss is 5000 into 5%. 250 is the loss which I am expecting. So I am expecting 4750 as good units, I will say. That is expected quantity. This much will be good units. Okay. But sir, actual loss came out to 350 or 300. So out of 300, 250 I was expecting. So 50 is abnormal loss. So 50 if I subtract, which is abnormal loss. 4750 minus 50. Yeah, I will get 4700 as my uh, actual stock which will be there in my go down. If nothing is sold. Okay. Sir, my cost per MT when I purchased it was 100 rupees. So, uh, sorry, 1000 rupees. So, I will say 5000 into 1000. Sir, that will give me 50 lakh. 50 lakh. And sir, how will you get the CPU? Get the CPU. In this case, you will say that. 50 lakh was your cost and you were expecting 4750 or a CPU is in fraction like this. So you see it is like this 1052.6315 or 16 I will say 157 now. Yeah 105.26 yeah, and I do that is right answer or uh, uh, Shiv Patil that is right answer. Okay. Para 13 should be mentioned. There is no need to mention the para. You just write the standard cunning that is sufficient. Some faculties may say, but I don't recommend. Just write this. No need to mention the paragraphs. If you can buy hard, that is okay. Otherwise, not at all recommended. Okay. Now, state with reference to accounting standard, how will you value this inventory? Achha, first of all, it is very easy, sir. Same question, what, what earlier we have done. 
whatever is your abnormal loss sir that is 50 just multiply with this and if you want to get the closing stock just subtract just remember this if similar question comes normal and abnormal loss wala you have to buy hard this so that you can get full marks sir are we done with all the questions of study matter yes sir definitely whatever questions not rdp huh i am just saying whatever questions which were there in the study material yeah we are done with those questions yeah now some concepts which are left let us do those concepts Achha, this is one page summary if you need i don't recommend because uh, actually fonts are very we can say that uh, small so i will recommend just go with this okay and this is just a map okay sir these done these done then here this done this done this done nrv something that we know now let us come to the things which are pending three things are pending that is this this and this no questions on this but they can ask in the examination so let us do this first let us go with the subsequent valuation joint product wala we will do at the end which is connected with the costing but we will do that now let us go with the subsequent valuation subsequent bole to we have valued the inventory on this balance sheet date sir but again you will do the valuation again in the next year so how it, it is gonna be done fifth point for that matter let's come to the fifth point which is subsequent valuation try to understand try to understand this subsequent valuation okay if i just do this here understand this your cost and nrv it is year number one you said sir your cost is 100 your nrv is 90 so cost or nrv which is lower sir 90 but you will value so there is a loss of 10 because on the credit side your closing stock should be 100 but instead you write 90 to credit side come ho gaya, it has reduced so there is a loss of 10 we will say understandable sir now sir here if i come to the next year there is a twist now now you will not say 90 is your cost hello your cost is 100 only but your nrv has changed there is an improvement in nrv now the demand has increased or something has happened now it was a covid situation let us say so now there is a shops are open so now you can fetch 96 rupees now the loss is only cost or nrv whichever is lower you will take this original cost at which you have purchased original cost sometimes you will write 90 it is wrong you have to take 100 so 100 or 96 whichever is lower 96 now you will see the twist the inventory which was appearing in the earlier period at 90 now it is appearing at 96 so there is an improvement 6 rupees ka increase so it is reversal of loss of 6 rupees just understand this it is reversal a kind of reversal now in future again in the next year your cost is 100 only the price at which you have purchased that wood 100 now but if the nrv in the market is now wow let us your share we will say the manufacturing cost of chair was 100 and you can sell it for 110 now your nrv you will see lower of this so you will value it at 100 so automatically again there is a reversal of this four rupees also okay you cannot record at 110 right you have lower of this that is a reversal wala point okay that has been explained uh ha, november 22 maybe i haven't seen that but there can be a mistake for that matter Revaluation is or a specific there is a specific we can just write it to I didn't get Naidu uh, for what revaluation or specific account you just need to uh, the interest will be done for that matter but they don't ask you the interest you just need to do the valuation so subsequent valuation is done now there is one theory concept sometimes they can ask which is cost formulas that is which method I will follow method of FIFO, LIFO and all karke. so there is one part which is there so let us come to this for leaf wala so now understand the inventories can be whatever inventories you have that can be interchangeable uh, or not interchangeable sir what is the difference let us say i have a shop where i just do uh, uh, a painting karta hai. i do paintings so when i say talk about or jewelries so jewelers have jewelry so every jewelry has a different design a different value you cannot just follow any method you will say this jewelry ka cost is this this jewelry ka cost. that is products are different you cannot interchange them every product is different tailor made industries like painting or we can say that where every product is different so specific identification cost Achha, you have jewelries at the end you are a we can say that we are goldsmith we have jeweler ka shop and jewelries are there we will say this jewelry ka cost is this this jewelry ka cost is this no method specific identification specifically what is the cost but sir products are interchangeable like I manufacture this calculator and there are thousands of calculator I manufacture same calculator or same chair I manufacture so how will you do product are similar they can interchange instead of giving this chair another chair can be given because both have same design then what should be done now you can go with this two things one is historical cost method 
not that important but still just have an idea FIFO method that you know or they can follow VAM LIFO is not permitted LIFO is not acceptable as per again sorry uh, it is not it should not be uh, again it, it was just a data which was taken and then we said AS2 but yeah same but okay, it is AS2 LIFO is not acceptable understand okay now sir non historic cost method what is non historic cost method this is a kind of a exemption which is given or a breather which is given to some institutes or some industries yeah, but it is magajbari fifo method now you know how to what is fifo method what is vam method it is a kind of a headache that first came this unit then came this unit then accordingly you will say issue again but if you have a lot of inventory like you are a d mart so like if I say calculator, we have a lot of inventory, so if I, there are lot, there is lot of stock which is there. Now you cannot have the counting, first this went, then this went, karke, nahi. So don't do this much magaj mari, okay, don't do this. If it is a retail inventory or, ad, to, or adjusted selling price method, so retailers are there, they have a large number of stock. So it is difficult to track the records as to which came first, then which came later on, karke. it is very difficult. So for that matter, the easiest way is given just see as to how many units you have that can be counted first last just forget just count Achha, this many units you have and how will you value so you will say selling price minus gross margin so you will get the cost and that at that price you will value this is my cost for every unit and multiply with the number you have 500 units of calculator 500 units of maybe computer maybe some stationary vagra, everything you will say multiply this is stock you will say 100 rupees I sell 20 rupees is my margin so every product must be at 80 rupees maybe some products are 80 when you must have purchased some at 79 but on an average margin is 20 percent just subtract and value this just to have that breather okay key don't do this uh, all stuff karke tedious job otherwise you will have to just do this thing only just track your records which came first now there is one more breather which is given standard cost method like you are in the manufacturing industry and from past year you are manufacturing the product standard costing we learn in yeah of uh, costing there are videos you can check the playlist now here if we just talk about the standard cost method it is very easy use where normal up uh, like generally we materially we set a standard labor and generally these are same that is there is no change every year when a labor works worker is working on a product he takes every time 15 minutes to manufacture a product so we can set a standard accordingly we get a standard cost to produce a product generally my cost is 2 rupees per unit so whatever or to manufacture a chair my cost is 500 standard standard cost and my actual cost is nearby this it doesn't change so i go with this method i can follow standard cost method also okay just one last point that in case of a firm has a committed a commitment of a contract of sale that nrc or or we can say that in in case see i have a hundred units please try to understand i have a hundred units okay Achha. my cost is let us say that uh, 50 rupees and my selling price is which is my nrv i will say which is my nrv is uh, uh for uh, let us say that 55 rupees so how will you value this stock you will simply cost or nrv which your is lower that is it will be valued at 50 but sir there is a twist out of 50 units for 80 units there is a contract contract that this product will be sold at 45 rupees the contract is done agreement is entered the sale is pending but i have this unit's possession but i have to sell it contract is already made that is online orders came i have to sell it now so now what will you do understand for this 20 units there is no contract so for this 20 units you will do cost is uh, 50 your nrv is uh, 55 lower of this is 50 and multiplied by 20 units but sir for this 80 units for which i have made a contract agreed my cost is 50 but your nrv will not be general selling price it will be the contracted selling price it will be the nrv shall be the contract price and you have a contract price of 45 so it should be valued at lower of this 45 multiplied by 80 units that's it Achha, there is one more discussion which is pending guys this is uh, joint product and byproduct again it is done in uh, costing but let's just have one look okay Across 60 minutes, uh, yeah, uh, that was the kind of a revision I was plan planning for. Okay, now there is a joint product uh, intention to. Achha, and if you want more videos, you can always comment in the Telegram channel or here itself. Once the lectures are over, I am planning again AS 11, AS 12, vagra, even AS 10. Vagra. Let's see for group one. Okay, 
Joint product, it means something which is intention to produce. By product, there is no intention to produce. Like you have some friends, you have an intention. So there are friends. But there are some friends by default. You sit in the classroom, you can you see their face, so you have to say hi. Karke. By product, no intention. Sugar and molasses. Sugar and there is a molasses. Something you don't want, but it will come. Okay. Let me just give you the example, concept, question, and solution, and you will understand the process if question comes in examination. Just try to understand. Uh, okay. Yeah. So now, sir, here we go. Now, sir, you bought crude oil. Then there is one process, one common process. And once that common processing is ending, you will uh, incur material cost, you will incur labor cost, and there is a production overheads you will incur. And after incurring these, sir, you incur 1,2,000. Yeah, uh, Sanidya, please take it before exam. One marathon will be taken for costing for sure. Okay, now understand. 100% it will be taken. Now understand. So, 1,2,000 is your cost. Your NRV. NRV is 2,000, let us say, which is your byproduct. Like crude oil, ko when you extract, you get petrol and diesel. But sir, when you get petrol and diesel, some kachra, when something is left over, that is wax. When you sell it in the market, you get 2,000 rupees. You get 2,000 rupees. So, 1 lakh, 2,000 minus 2,000, your net giant cost is 1 lakh. And so, this 1 lakh is incurred to get these two products. These are joint products. And this is byproduct wax. You don't want to produce this. And the point where it gets separated is split off point. Now, understand. What you gonna do? You have produced, no? produce, and cost is divided based on production. In joint product, by product, we do in much detail. Okay. So, sir, there are 300 units of petrol and then there are 250 units of diesel. Okay. If I sell it in the market, sir, into 100 rupees, it can be sold. If I sell the diesel in the market, it can be sold for 80 rupees. You get these values. We have done the same thing in the joint, uh, joint product, by product. Now, Sir, you can check the playlist always for that matter. Sir, I have incurred 1 lakh rupees to get two products, petrol and diesel. Wax ka cost I have subtracted. Okay, it was a scrap, so it was subtracted. Now this 1 lakh rupees, how will you divide between petrol and diesel? So the product which has a highest sales value should bear the highest cost burden. That is a fair thing, okay? Like if you go for a picnic, the example was given there also. The one who has a highest capability should carry the higher weight, we will say that. So same way here, like uh, sales value, so first you will write this sales value is 3 lakh, then this is 2 lakh, total sales value is 5 lakh and to generate this 5 lakh rupees ka sales, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Sandhya, uh, yeah, I am planning all group 1 ka AS, okay, one by one I will do this, today again two more AS will be taken, okay, I will just upload that in the telegram channel which is CA Armor by CA Rahul Panchal, now, what I am gonna do is, what I am gonna do is, this 1 lakh will be divided, that is 1 lakh into 2 lakh divided by 50,000 or you know the shortcut, 1 lakh divided, in this ratio you will divide and you will get this answer, that is joint product and byproduct, accordingly you will get petrol ka cost and once you get this cost, now you can value the inventory, 60,000 cost for this many units. So, one unit is valued at what price? Karke. Achha, just one last summary. Now, listen to me very carefully. A rapid revision. Entire standard in 5 minutes. Just listen to me very carefully. Last 5 minutes. Yeah, we'll do that. You can always uh, just spend at least 10 seconds once the lectures are over in the comment section. Hashtag C armor. At least that much you can do if I'm doing, I'm doing this much. Okay. Now, understand. Uh, yeah, chalo. Now, let's come to this. Okay. First of all. Sir, AS2, the, there are six parts, okay. Sir, important parts are this, 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 that's it. So, let's do this. These are important parts. Okay, chal. Now, sir, meaning, sir, there is raw metal, there is WIP, there is finished good. That is wood, unfinished chair, chair. Sir, how you gonna value those simple? Sir, for WIP and finished goods, it is cost or NRV, whichever is lower. But for raw material, it, it depends if finished goods is valued at cost. So, raw material is also valued at cost. If finished goods is valued at NRV, it means there is a loss. So, again, raw material, it should be a cost or replacement cost, whichever is lower. Replacement cost will be given in the question. Now, items to be included, there are three purchase cost, conversion cost and other cost. Uh, achha, conversion cost you just need to remember for overheads you will take only production overheads and production overheads total if it is in total will be divided by normal capacity or actual capacity whichever is higher expenses to be excluded to TOSA is that is uh, taxes will be ignored uh, if refund is available office overhead will be ignored selling overhead will be ignored and then abnormal losses will be ignored then interest and storage will be ignored okay then if I talk about joint product by product now only we did that uh, your Cost, joint cost, first uh, byproduct scrap value should be subtracted and then it should be divided to the main products based on their sales value at sales value wala ratio. Now, 
NRV. How to get the NRV? That is also we did, guys. NRV, if I just talk about, it is uh, selling price minus selling cost for finished goods. But sir, if I talk about WIP, so selling price minus selling cost will come. But because it is half pay, we have to further process, so even that cost will come and then you will get NRV. For raw material, NRV cannot be done because you do not sell raw material as such. And if you take further processing, the entire cost will have to take. Instead, best way is take the replacement cost. If you go to the market today, what is the value of that raw material? It is easy to get that. But if you go to the market today, what is the WIP? Unfinished share value is quite, quite difficult. So we have to do like this. NRV you will get for WIP but raw material clear you have to get replacement cost that will be given in the question okay then subsequent valuation I have explained and then cost formulas I have explained which is not that important but yeah that was explained as to interchangeable non interchangeable that's it guys so that is how we just uh, summarize this chapter in around uh, 60 minutes we will say we will be meeting in the next uh, lecture yeah thank you so much bye bye yeah you can always like again just a reminder uh anything if you want to say please uh, comment uh, here or we can say telegram you can come there okay notes are there in the description beautifully made a lot of time has been invested thank you so much let me end the session bye bye uh just i'm saving your time yeah when is the next lecture i will just update that in the telegram group okay okay bye bye guys